Okay, guys, um, I want to make sure that you guys um, can also use the place value blocks all the way up to the hundreds. And remember, place value means um, every number has a place and every number has a value. So if the <clears throat> number is here, it, it's a one here, the value is 10, and then here the value is 100. So let's do one together. Just for a review, you remember, this is 33. You can see the number 33 there. It's 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33. And when you look at their places, we see that there's one, two, three, three groups in the tens place and three little ones. And we can see that three groups of 10 and three ones. And that makes the number 33. And if we were doing the sticks and circles for 33, it would be 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33. So the value of this three is 10 and the value of this three is just a little bitty single one. So where the numbers sit, is their value. Now, let's look at that 100. So let's clear. Okay, what do we see? We see 135. I do have one 100, 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So I have one 100. I have three tens. And you can see the three groups, one, two, and three. And I have one, two, three, four, five ones. And then you read it and you read it, 135. You say 35 because one, three, five, one, 100, three tens and five ones makes the number 135. 135, because remember, these are three tens. It's 10, 20, and 30. So 135. Now, if you were to use sticks and circles, um, you've been doing it for the tens and the ones. Well. When you have a number in the hundreds, we just call it a flat. So it's just like a square. So it's 100 and 30, 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 135. Now, when you read your numbers, you read from here, from the hundreds, and back, just like you read words, you read from this side, which is the left, to the right. All right, let's clear and let's look at another one. So let's do two, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and one. 
All right, let's see what we have. Let's count it together first. We can count it together. I have 100, 200. So 200, 200 and 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, one, 251 when I count it. Now I can also look at it and I can see I have how many, how many hundreds? And how many groups of 10? So how many tens? And how many ones? Well, I have two, one, two. This is a whole group of 100. And then I have one, two, three, four, and five. And then just one. And that makes the number 251. Now to write it with the flat sticks and circles, you'll need two flats for 210, 20, 30, 40, 50, and one. All right, let's just count some together. 100, some, all right, I'm going to start here, 110, let me put that 10 back, 10, 20, 30, so 110, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36. 110, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. And you can see right here is 136. The one is in the hundred spot, one, and three of those, and six of those. And so that makes the number 136. Now, if you look carefully, this is made up of 10 of these. So I could actually put 10 on top of that. So you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, let's clear it and let's do another one. Let's put in some hundreds. Let's put in some tens and let's put in some ones. All right, let's see what we have. Let's count it. We have 100 and 200. So we're going to say 200 and 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 274. And you can see it right there. Now, when I look at, when I look, I can see that I have two flats of a hundred and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven.
and I see four. So I have two hundreds, seven tens, and four ones. And I actually added, oops, I'm gonna clear because I added an extra one in there. I didn't mean to. I clicked it by accident. All right, let's look again. Let's do one, two, let's do, ooh, this is a big one, that's three. So this is 100, 200, 300, 310, 320, 321. You could just do, I see up here in the hundreds place, I have three flats, three flats of 100. I have two tens and one one, and that makes the number 321. So let's clear. All right, so when you're talking about place value, numbers have a place. Now I'm gonna just show you a little thing here. So I'm gonna put a five here and a two here and a one here. Well, this five is in the hundreds place, so it's 521. If, let's just change those around a little bit. Let's move the two here, the five here, and the, we'll leave the one there. And let's see, now it's 251. So if it sits in the hundreds place, it's worth 100. If it sits in the tens place, it's worth 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and then the ones place. So where you put it matters. I'm going to bring one over here. I'm going to leave the five here and move the two over here. And then now you see 152. That is why it's called place value. Wherever you place the number is where the value is. So if you place the numbers here, You place the numbers here, it's worth hundreds. If you place the numbers here, they're tens. They're 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. And then if you place the numbers here, they're just worth one, okay? So just kind of think about that and that's just kind of the to give you an introduction to place value up to the hundreds place. Good job, I'll see you soon.